What's up, everybody? Um, so it's crazy, man. I was just listening to uh, a video that I saw online, and that video was Chris Hogan explaining that he is leaving Dave Ramsey Solutions. That's Dave Ramsey's business uh, of giving advice to people on how to get out of debt. The only thing is that Chris Hogan is a big part of that business. He's like Dave Ramsey's right-hand man. Uh, I think they've been friends for quite a long time. Um, and apparently Chris Hogan's reason for leaving the company uh, was because he made certain mistakes in his personal uh, life. Uh, and it sounded like it's because those decisions came to light uh, that he decided to leave the company. That's just based on his statements. It sounds like, you know, if he had just made the mistakes, they hadn't come to light, he'd still be working for the company. Um, leaving the company, uh, the wording that he used, uh, I felt was a bit ambiguous. So, I, you know, I didn't really tell you whether or not he got fired or whether or not he decided to leave. Um, but all in all, I decided to do a little bit more digging um, because I was just like, wait, due to personal decisions, is it like the fact that he has a credit card and Dave found out and, and Dave was like, what the heck are you doing? We tell people not to have credit cards or was it something deeper than that? So as I looked a little bit deeper into the articles online, different articles, um, you know, said a few, a little, there was a little distinction between different articles. Um, and so when I pieced all the puzzles, to, the pieces of the puzzle together, um, I realized that Chris Hogan had an affair. Chris Hogan had an affair. Uh, and apparently he had an affair with uh, some of the employees at Dave Ramsey Solutions. Um, and in the midst of a situation where Dave Ramsey's uh, currently uh, participating in court proceedings because of a whole entirely different situation where uh, he fired a lady because she was pregnant. Um, I think that's what she alleges. However, um, when I read the articles, it sounded like the legal reason why they let her go was because she had premarital coitus. Now, I know it sounds a little crazy. I mean, how are you going to fire someone from like a financial based business because they're having premarital sex? Now, um, you know, I had to really think about that for a bit because I was just like that doesn't sound right like you know and and you know even if you're christian i mean that still doesn't sound right um since when do you get kind of boycotted for making a mistake i mean just thinking about you know stories in the bible i i just time after time i feel it gives an example of quite the opposite of like not judging and and not making people not putting people in a position where they can't right their own wrongs and learn from what they've done you know, and, and repent for, for the mistakes they made. Um, now, when you add the component of stripping away their paycheck because they've made a mistake, uh, that sounds pretty wrong to me. However, um, on the other hand, to play devil's advocate, um, Dave Ramsey's been pretty, pretty, pretty um, clear with his advice to the general public uh, regarding his principles. And I'm sure that he's like that within his own business. So when he hires someone, he lets them know exactly what he expects of them. Um, I'm sure they probably even have to sign something, you know, uh, agreeing to like the type of behavior uh, that he's expecting uh, from them in the business as well as outside the business. But the question is, is he taking it too far? Is he taking it too far to literally be in people's bedroom to find out if they're breaking, you know, biblical principles or not. Um, and, you know, I think logically someone might say, well, of course he isn't. I mean, how would he ever know? And then that kind of leads me to kind of think, okay, well, if it was a man, he wouldn't have known, but because it was a woman and she got pregnant as a result of it, uh, then now it's okay to fire her. And who's to say that the other person wasn't part of the company as well? It just seems like it's a standard that's hard to uphold when it comes to, you know, men. Um, and so it just feels like it's a very unfair rule. Um, and I think that even if it is a rule, uh, there's a certain set of leniency that can be 
could have been shown in that situation. I mean, uh, picture being pregnant and then losing your job because you got pregnant. Now it kind of puts you in a very difficult situation. So um, for a person that wants to help people with their personal finances, it kind of seems a little opposite to that. And, and I'm sure that, you know, this is someone he has been seeing for a long time within the business, probably worked there for a while. And it just kind of seems a little harsh. But apparently, this isn't the first time he uh, fired someone for that reason. And so I'm starting to think, is it one of those things where you use that reason to fire someone? And then, you know, when a similar situation arose, you kind of didn't want to look like a hypocrite. So you had to do the same thing over and over and over again. And it became a rule that was a lot stricter than you intended. I don't know. But anyways, I mean, just let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know, you know, if you're a fan of Dave Ramsey, let me know if uh, you think that he has the right to make up his own rules. It's his business or if he's taking it too far. I'd be happy to hear what other people's thoughts are on this. Thanks for watching.